Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we have been discussing on Lang graph, and in this video, we will be discussing on an important topic that is regression limit. So we can see what is a regression limit. So it's a set maximum number of super steps the graph can execute during a single execution. So that is a definition for regression limit. So let me scroll it down. Okay. So here we can see a graph, right? So we can see that we will have a node A, then B and C will be executed in parallel, and we have the and B and C connected with the D. Then finally it is going to end. So in this scenario, we can see that there are exactly three steps are there. Okay. Even though there are four nodes, here we have only three steps because the first one is the first node that is A, and B and C are executing in parallel. So this will be considered as a one step, and we have the third step D. Okay, so that is how we calculate the step. Okay, so once reached the limit, it will raise an error. That is the graph regression error. Sometimes we will have a some kind of a loop will be there. Okay, some some conditions have been met. Then if some if some conditions met, then we have to go to the another uh, another node, right? So sometimes like uh, the condition will never met, or it may take more. Uh, loops it may take right so in that case we may have to control that so we will say that okay don't go to the infinite loop just set it to like hundred regressions right after that it may so once that is one once the limit is hit then we will get an error okay so by default the regression limit is twenty five okay so and we'll see we'll see some uh, practicals and we'll see how can you handle the graph regression error also okay now this is a sample code so if you have been following my videos you may you may understand i mean you will understand this what is mean by this code okay so we have a yeah, operator is there and so so this is state and we are keeping a state aggregate and this is we are using the reducer function operator dot add so whenever uh, whenever the uh, the nodes are returning it this will appended with the aggregate then we have a node a node b node c and node c right then we are creating or we are building the graph here so we have a node here then we are connecting the edges okay so now let me execute this let me execute okay so now we can see this is the graph as i just discussed so we will have a, a b c and d right now what i am going to do so i can call this function something like this okay graph dot invoke i can call then i can set the aggregate as a default now i can pass some kind of a configuration right so here i am passing a configuration regression limit as 3 now we can try to execute it see we are getting a regression error because because since this has a three steps right so whenever it 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 meet, it has reached the 3 the regression limit it will throw an error okay so that is why we are getting an error so to solve this we can increase the limit to 4 let me execute then we can see that the execution is done successfully right so in this case since this is a very simple graph we we know that there are it's a maximum regression limit is the 3 and we need to increase that to 4 to run it gracefully right but in some scenarios we cannot predict that but we have to handle it and sometimes there are scenarios we may need to get the state before hitting the regression limit okay i don't want to throw an error because i want to get the last state before hitting the regression limit so we'll see how can we do that okay so this is another graph so let me run it i will explain the code okay so this is the graph so have a look on this particular graph here we have a node called a decision then based on some true conditions it is running it is going to the action node then it is coming back to the action then there is a loop here okay there is some condition is met it is going to the end all right so this is how the program is designed now we can see step by step i can explain the code so in the code we have a class state okay there are two values are there one is value then other is the action result then we have a router so what router is it's a conditional graph right so here what we are doing we are checking the value the state value that is the value from here is end so if the value is matching with end then we are going to the end state okay so here if you look on that 
that is how this is from decision is going to the end whenever the state value is n it is going to the end otherwise we will be going to the action node okay so this is our action node so action node will update action result and it says that what a great result okay then we have a decision node and decision node is updating with the value keep going so if you guys if you guys look on this particular code we can see that we are never assigning the value equal to end anywhere right which means this is going to a infinite loop okay so we'll see let me execute it we are getting a recursion error to make it little bit more clear let me add one more parameter here that is the count okay then here i can update the state let me update the count i can set it as maybe so this is my count the count will be state count plus 1 now i am going to update the state value of count that is the count i can update the count here okay in the similar way i can do it here also count i can set to count so before that i need to initialize the count the count will be state count plus 1 okay now at each stage i can print the count count will be count and here also i can print the count okay now let me execute this we'll see the result okay and uh, here here i can set it to count as a zero zero now let me run this so if you look on that we can see that the count is increasing whenever we we get into each node right so we can see it hit the 25 then we are getting a recursion error because as i said earlier the recursion limit default value is 25 okay i hope this is clear now we can see how can we solve this particular issue okay and lang graph has come up with a beautiful uh, function that is called or beautiful property that is called the remaining step okay so this is internally handled by the lang graph here this is imported from lang graph manager is last step so this can be added with our state okay and this is the same code but only one difference is that in the router i am adding one more condition okay i am checking okay the state of remaining step is less than or equal to 2 then it is going to an end condition okay so whenever the step is i mean whenever the limit before the the limit is going to hit it will go to the end statement then which means it will never going to hit the the maximum limit okay so now let me execute this we'll see okay now we are getting the result here okay there is no problem with the result now what i can do as i did earlier let me do little bit more code change maybe um i can see i can set the count as integer okay here i can make it count equal to maybe uh, state count plus 1 i can update the count as count so let me copy this okay here also i can update the count here i can set the count as count this will be count right okay now what i am going to do i am going to update just just adding the count here so we'll see the last count also from here 
ओके नाउ लेट लेट मी एक्सिक्यूट इट वी कैन सेट द काउंट एस सीरो ओके सी सो दिस इज this is executed successfully so whenever the count is reached the 22 then it's end so this is the execution is stopped right because so this is actually 23 because we started the started with the zero so whenever it is less than or equal to 2 okay so remaining step is less than or equal to 2 it will go to the end so in this way this will not never going to the or never raise the the error the regression error will never happen for this particular code okay so in this way we we can beautifully handle the the regression error okay so i believe this is clear and if you have any questions please put into the my chat comment box i will try to answer that so that's about it in this video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye